President Mobuto and I have just had a warm and useful discussion. And I am pleased to have been able to meet again with President Mobutu, who's been a faithful friend of the United States for some 20 years. The President and I took this opportunity to review the state of U.S. Zairean relations, and we found a large area of agreement on the major points we discussed. I expressed our admiration for President Mobutu's courageous action in sending troops to assist the government of Chad in his struggle against Libyan-backed rebels. On the home front, the President has informed me of progress on his government's economic stabilization plan. Zaire has taken the difficult but necessary steps to ensure sustained economic progress. And it's important that we and Zaire's other friends do what we can to help. President Mobutu and I also discussed his country's political situation, and I told him of the positive reaction in the United States to his recent decision to offer amnesty to his political opponents. This visit has permitted the President and me to reaffirm our common desire for peace and stability in Africa. And I am confident that the close relations between our two countries, based on shared interests and perceptions, will advance the cause of peace and development in Africa. And we're very pleased to have him visit us once again, uh, as he did a year and a half ago. President. Yes. Après les entretiens que nous venons d'avoir avec le président Reagan et ses principaux collaborateurs, j'ai tenu tout d'abord à le remercier pour l'accueil combien amical et chaleureux qu'il nous a réservé et de l'atmosphère d'amitié que nous avons rencontré partout où nous sommes euh, passés ici à Washington. 
Euh, nous avons fait ensemble un tour d'horizon complet, comme il vient de le souligner lui-même, euh, de la situation économique euh, du Zahir, de l'assainissement des finances publiques, euh, action qui a été entreprise ensemble avec le Fonds monétaire international. Nous avons parlé du Tchad, de l'agression dont est victime ce pays, euh, membre fondateur de l'OUA, membre des Nations Unies. Nous avons parlé euh, de la Namibie, nous avons parlé de l'Afrique du Sud, nous avons parlé de l'Amérique euh, centrale. Bref, nous avons fait un tour d'horizon complet euh, des grands problèmes euh, de l'heure. Euh, certaines décisions au niveau euh, de l'assistance économique à mon pays euh, ont été prises, ont été décidées et, et sont sur le point euh, d'être euh, prises. Je tiens ici faire, euh, personnellement à féliciter le président Reagan, ses principaux collaborateurs, euh, pour tout ce qui a été fait, pour nous faciliter la tâche, pour nous réserver un accueil amical et chaleureux pendant notre séjour à Washington. Je vous remercie. I have expressed to President Reagan during our meeting, first of all, my thanks for the wonderful and warm welcome extended to us and the atmosphere of great friendship that we have experienced throughout our stay in Washington. We surveyed world events, we talked about the economic situation in Zaire, about the program for financial and economic recovery, which is being worked out with the IMF. We talked of Chad, of the aggression against that country, a founder of the OAU and a member of the United Nations. Uh, we talked also of Namibia, South Africa, and Central America. In brief, we surveyed world events. Some decisions have been made for economic aid to Zaire, and some more decisions uh, will be uh, made in that context. I extended to President Reagan and to his associates my congratulations and thanks for all they have done to facilitate our stay in every way uh, during our visit here. Thank you. Gaddafi says stay out of the Gulf of Sidra or he'll shoot. Will we? <laughs> Do we consider the Gulf of Sidra international waters, sir? Do we consider the Gulf of Sidra international waters? Briefing book. Get Gaddafi back in his.